it is Tanya and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another speed build. Today I am building a large five bedroom, four bathroom house in Willow Creek coming in at 219,000 simoleons. This build has a office, a very, very big gym, a hot tub, all of those bedrooms and bathrooms I had mentioned, large living spaces, and it's base game only. So I've been asked a lot lately if I could do another base game house. I try to do them like once a month, once every other month. And I feel like it's just been a long time since I've done one and it sounded really fun this past weekend. So I sat down and started one and it, it's, it's a pretty big one <laughs> because I feel like the last couple ones I've done have been like two bedrooms or less or tiny houses or I don't know. I haven't done like a big family home in a while. So I figured, you know, a base game family home would be perfect for that. That way, if you don't have all of the packs, this will be easy to download. Or if you do, you can easily go ahead and renovate this to fit whatever family you have using the packs that you have. But you have the shell of this large home. So I hope you guys do like it because I had so much fun building this. It did take me a couple of days. I don't know if anyone else relates to this, but when I'm building larger houses, it might only take like three, four, five hours, somewhere in there, but I always do it over the course of a few days because I'm like, okay, <laughs> I've had too much of this particular build. I'm going to come back to it later. I need a break. Whereas when I'm building smaller houses with those tiny houses, one bedroom houses, apartments, all of that, I can sit there and do the whole thing in one sitting, but <laughs> never a house like this. We'll see if that ever changes someday, but um, yeah, this took me a while, but I'm very, very happy with the outcome. So I hope you guys are happy with it too. Uh, so anyway, we're just working on the outside. The outside comes together pretty quickly here. It's the inside that takes a long, long time to furnish because it is such a big home. And the area that I end up having the gym in, I could see being renovated into other bedrooms or really anything. It's a massive room. You will see when we get to it. Uh, but I was kind of imagining that the family that moved into this house or that used to live in this house, you know, was really into fitness, or maybe they ran a business out of their home. Of course, I could see that space being like a yoga studio if you were using spa day with this, uh, but I did want to keep it base game, so that's what we went with. But here we are adding windows. I do start with a very brown color scheme, and we do switch it out for lighter colors a little bit later. There's still a lot of brown in this house, but the outside I thought was getting to be a little bit too dark for what I was thinking. But I do think it's still really pretty. So uh, this is the color scheme you could consider changing it back to if you like this one better. If you guys download this house, uh, it is available on the Sims 4 gallery. If you search Griffey or the hashtag Miss Griffey, that information is also down below as well as a direct download link to the gallery website if you'd prefer to download it that way. But we're working on some landscaping now and I really like how it came out. I used a mixture of like regular stuff and stuff from the show live edit objects G, including these little uh, planters on the windows with the red flowers. I thought they were really pretty. And then we have this really big driveway. There ends up being a couple of cars in it. And I don't know, I just really, really enjoyed how this house is kind of an L shape and all the landscaping I got to do. It was a really, really fun one to do. And I, I just like experimenting a little bit. These little archways on the side of the house, I do end up deleting. So I didn't even include me placing them down. I did cut out a ton of footage in this build because it was just a lot of experimenting. <laughs> so if things just pop into place or the colors change, that would explain why. Or things like this where I just don't feel like it's necessary to show placing of every single one of these items because these are debug items. I don't know what they're really supposed to be, but I know myself and a lot of other Sims YouTubers often use them to frame gardens. So that's what I was doing there, but it was just like, you know, do you need to see everything being placed down? It does take a long time because they are debug items, so you can't clone them. So that's kind of frustrating. Uh, but just adding lots and lots of trees. I really like some of the ones from debug. The one I just placed down in the back that's like an evergreen tree that's really, really messed up. I thought that was really cute. Having some rocks, lots of red flowers. Oh, it's just so pretty. I feel like I never use red. So it was kind of nice to do that. I mean, most of the inside of this build is very neutral. Lots of browns and whites and beiges. But I do have some reds in here as well, primarily in the master bedroom, which you'll see when we get to that. But um, I don't know. I just really liked how this came out. Um, but we're working on the floor plan now. It did take me a while. I cut some of it out. Uh, but downstairs, we have two bathrooms, a kitchen, a dining room, a living room, an office, and a giant gym. So you'll see that coming together. 
There's also this little hallway area we're adding with these two archways here that I just put some storage in the hallway, but I imagine that would be a really good place to have a laundry room if you do have the laundry pack and you download this house. Um, but we're just figuring out the bedrooms upstairs. Like I said, it's a five bedroom house, which, you know, I, I don't usually do houses that big. So it was kind of cool. You could definitely convert one of those into another office or another skill building room, you know, have like a painting area or just a playroom for the kids really whatever you'd like. There's lots of space to renovate and expand in this house, but we're working on the kitchen now and I really like how this came out too. I love this table that we got in an update last year or the year before. I'm not really sure, but for some reason, the items that we got later on with base game are still so exciting to me when I'm building base game houses because they weren't there when I started playing the game. So they just, it makes it feel a little bit less base game to me, if that makes sense. Especially this backsplash. This is like one of my favorite backsplashes in the game. Probably not my favorite swatch, but I really do like like all of the swatches on this um, backsplash. But I just think it adds a lot more to this build. But we're adding a bunch of clutter over here by the stove. I think this kitchen ends up being a really interesting shape, but I really like how it came out in the end. A decent amount of plants around the place. I kind of like adding way too many plants everywhere and one of the bedrooms has quite a few of them as well but we're just adding a microwave and a dish washer. I almost wanted to call it a dish rack but I don't think we added one of those to this build. Do we have one with face game or I think they're only with cool kitchen and parenthood if I'm remembering correctly so no dish rack uh, but this is the entryway. I was thinking about adding a mirror here but it didn't really work so we just kept it pretty simple and then we have our little coats hanging up by the door. I instantly wanted to put the little temperature control from seasons because for some reason in my builds I always put that by the front door but we weren't using seasons I also don't understand why I put it by the front door because I've never been to a house where when you first walk in the temperature controls are right there let me know if any of you guys have that in your home or your apartment mine's like nowhere near our front door so <laughs> I don't know why I always do that Maybe I should switch it up in the future and put it someplace else. But I guess because I always do that, I always know where to find it when I'm playing in the houses I build. I don't know. Just rambling here. But we are into the living room now. I feel like I always use these couches. Base game or not, they're my favorite couches. I think they're the most realistic couches to the ones I see in anybody's house. These are similar to mine, sort of. Mine is a little bit more boxy than this. But it's like, it's like a mixture between this one and that really boxy... Uh, base game couch we get that comes in a million different colors. It's a mixture of the two because I think this one looks more comfortable than that one, but mine looks a little bit more like that one. I don't know, but I feel like we need more like classic, this is what people actually have in their house couches. And that's one of my most wanted items decorative wise in the game because there's a lot of items I'd want that come with new functionality. But as far as just like new styles of things, we really need new couches and more counters, please. I would love that. I don't need another toilet at all for the existence of this game. I mean, if you want to give us like an outhouse object or something in the future, I'm not going to say no, but like, I, I just want more couches and counters. Couches and counters, please. Uh, but we're putting counters in the living room as well. I thought it would be kind of cool to have this little built-in unit with uh, some decorations, some kid stuff, some clutter. I just thought it was kind of cute. And then um, adding more shelves over here because I feel like it's my favorite way to clutter up spaces. So I think that came out pretty nicely. And then we're adding an easel so you have a little bit of skill by skill building, skill building. Uh, and then of course a chessboard as well. I wanted to make sure you could work on a couple of different things in this house. And yeah, I did not show the bathrooms in this build. I decided not to even record them because this build was taking so long to begin with. So these are off camera, but there will be screenshots of them at the end. Uh, but this is the office space. I think it came out pretty cute. This is one of my favorite base game desks because it's so cluttered and has so much detail. The little things hung up behind the computer, the boxes on top. I just think it's really cute. So I was happy to go ahead and use that. But it's a pretty standard office. It ends up having bookcases and clutter, a couch the computer and desk like it's nothing too special but I do really like how it did come out in the end so we're just gonna be adding this couch that's kind of like the one I was talking about before the boxy one if you weren't sure which couch I was talking about that one we need a middle ground between that and the one we got except a little bit cushier I don't know I feel like custom content really gets the point across that I'm trying to make like the really comfy couches a lot of us have in real life 
but I don't want to use custom. I want it like in the game, <laughs> like official Max's content, but we're kind of just talking over this gym right here. It's massive. As you can see, you could totally renovate this into whatever space you want it to be, but I think it looked really cool. You could also turn it into an actual functioning garage if you want not functioning, but you know, make it look more like a garage. If you have other packs, have more of the fake cars in here, or if we ever get functional cars, this would be a great place to go ahead and have a functional garage. Because I assume if we get functional cars, we'll get like garage doors and stuff. At least I would hope so. But at this point, I'm not sure if we're ever going to get cars. Like we're so far into the game already. But you never know. They could always still surprise us and that would be fantastic. Uh, but now we are up into the master bedroom where we're going to have that little splash of red I had mentioned. Of course, using a base game bed. But uh, this swatch, I don't think... If I've used it, it's been a long time. It's not a swatch I ever go for because it's just so bright. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. I don't use a lot of red in my builds. There's something about it that I'm usually a little bit, I don't know. I just steer away from it, but it was really nice to do that here. I also made a built-in closet over here, which I thought looked pretty nice. And then on the other side, there's an ensuite for this bedroom as well. So you can definitely tell that this is the master based on the different bedrooms. Uh, but we're just adding a little bit of red throughout. I think it came out pretty cute. A little bit of clutter up here. I believe we're going to add a little frame and a little book and maybe a chair, but I don't remember. I don't think so. Uh, but in the hallway, we keep it pretty simple. We just have some cabinets that we're going to be placing here momentarily and a rug, some bookshelves combined into that. And then we're on into the first kid's bedroom. So this one's very purple and I used this flower wallpaper, which I never use because I think it's hideous, but it also reminds me of Boo from Monster Sink. And so I was just like running with that. Uh, so, you know, I had fun with colors in here. It's just a shared kid's bedroom. And since I never used that wallpaper, it was kind of nice. I just think it would be way too much for a whole room. But as an accent wall, I think it works out pretty well. So just adding some more posters and stuff in here, some wardrobes and a little dresser as well. Or I got rid of the dresser. I added a um, dollhouse. I don't use the dollhouses a lot because they are so big. And when I do use them, I do size them down, which I did here. Um, and then the next three bedrooms, we have one more double room like this. And then the other two are single beds. And they're very similar in color scheme. But first, we have this like rock and roll bedroom. I had fun with this because I forgot that we had this mirror, the star mirror. And I thought maybe the parents really wanted these kids to feel like they were rock stars. So they have the guitar beds. They have the star mirror. I just thought it was a really cool idea and fun because... I don't know about you guys, but I feel like you get like quirky things like that in your room when you're a kid. So I really enjoyed that. So just adding some guitars and a microphone over in the corner, some violins, a little teddy bear. I feel like I imagined the kids in this house were like the first bedroom I did was for maybe seven, eight, nine year olds. And then this bedroom was for like 12 to 13 year olds. And then the other two bedrooms I'm doing one is similar in age to this room and then the other one's a little bit older. So you'll see those. So I didn't imagine there was anyone super young, but there was a lot of kids in this house. I don't know if you want to play with like your sim just had a lot of kids or maybe two families came together that had a lot of kids. I think that's kind of a fun idea. Or maybe you adopted all of them. I don't know. But I know sometimes you have a ton of sims in your house and this house can definitely fit eight sims. So hopefully that will be helpful. This room started off being kind of green, but I end up changing it out to be a little bit more gray later on because the room next door has a strong green color scheme, which we'll be doing after this one. And I really like how that one came out. And I thought this one was just a little bit too similar and that it worked better in that room. So you'll see me switching that out a little bit later, but the style of this room still stays the same. It's pretty simple and I'm pretty happy with it. I kind of like the bed tucked over in the corner. I think that's pretty realistic. I do get rid of the flower painting a little bit later though because the bedroom we're working on now, this green one is like, this person likes plants and nature. <laughs> so we have a bunch of these butterfly paintings up here and then we're gonna be adding a bunch of clutter up on the top of the bed, mostly plants, but other stuff as well. And then we're gonna be adding even more plants. And I just really like this room. I think it's super cute. Plus, I love these bedside tables. These came with an update la last year, year before. I don't remember exactly when they came out, but they came with the freelancing careers, I believe. 
And I just think they are so nice and realistic. And I also use the desk in the other room that match those. And I just think they're really, really nice, beautiful items. So I was happy to use those. But here we are just adding some more plants in a bookcase, some paintings, and our little cork board. I love adding the cork board and adding postcards to it. I think it's just like such a neat little thing to add to your game to or add to your rooms to make them a little bit more personalized. But now we're on the back patio. We're going to finish decorating back here, a place to eat, a hot tub, a place to grill things, a place to relax. But then we're going to be heading on into screenshots. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. You can also subscribe to the channel if you have not already. And if you click that bell, it'll turn on notifications so you'll be notified of every single time I upload a new video. Thank you guys so very, very much for watching. Please let me know what you thought in the description, not in the description, in the comments down below. And I will see you all next time. Bye, everybody.